Hello everyone, I'm RS, and today we sit around this magical front row table to press play, spill some tea, and bring out never before heard truths about somebody. Of course, our special guest will make this magic happen. No other than the king of talk, Boy Abunda! I, I wait, Tito boy. I need to really clap sincerely thank you. for myself and for you because uh, before you say thank you, before you say anything, I would like to say thank you for being here and for being uh, a strong force behind me since I was starting in theater. So thank you so much. Ngayon pa lang, papasalamat na ako. Let me tell you this, RS. Maraming salamat. Hindi ko na intindihan hanggang ngayon kung bakit tayo pinagtagpo ng buhay. I don't know why we did what we did to each other as friends as human beings, but whatever happened was meant to happen yeah. and uh, we went for it. And I'm just so proud of what you have become. I'm so proud of what others have become because of you and Sam. Yes, but Tito Boy, let's backtrack first okay. on how I've become like this. And for everybody who's watching right now, para lang alam natin ang uh, pinanggalingan or ang ugat ng pag relasyon namin ng isang boy abunda eh nag nagsistem back pa yan dati pa nung 90s uh, hindi pa wala pa akong pangalan sa teatro sa advertising or kahit sa multi-level marketing at uh, wala pa rin sa telebisyon ang isang boy abunda uh, meron akong play na ginagawa sa UP noon noong mga panahong yon at nagugulat na lang ako all the time na may tumutulong sa amin sa isa aming maliit na na play May tumutulong sa amin na mag-promote. Parating sinasabi ng mga press, pinad pinadala po kami ni Boy Abunda. Two to three years after, doon ko lang siya nakilala at ako na mismo nagpaalala sa kanya na, Tito Boy, uh, I don't know kung naalala nyo pa sa sobrang daming tinutulungan nyo. Pero isa po ako at ang dula ang UP at M Butterfly na tinulungan po ninyo sa pag-promote. Kaya naging isang massive hit yung play namin na M Butterfly. At dahil po sa inyo, Boy Abunda, eh, madaming pinto ang nagbukas. Para sa akin, hindi lang sa larangan ng teatro, kundi pati sa telebisyon, pati sa advertising. Kaya kung ano po ako ngayon, Tito Boy, eh, malaking parte at malaking bahagi po yung nagawa niyo po sa akin dati. So with that, maraming maraming salamat, Tito Boy. Thank you. But I want to explain why I did what I was doing then. Dahil maraming tao rin na nakapaligid sa buhay mo, RS, ang uh, responsible for... Uh, whatever I was and whatever I was targeting during the time. Na, Tony Mabesa, yes. I was with Floyd Quintos, yes. lahat ito, uh, the great Ben Cervantes, who... Yes, who was my leading man for that That's right, play. for M. Butterfly. And that time, I just worked with Ben for a big musical called Batibot, oh, wow. starring uh, Haji Alejandro. I am a big supporter of the theater. Sobrang paniniwala ko. And people were talking about M. Butterfly. And people were talking about R.S. Francisco. Totoo yun. And everybody was talking about it. And I figured, because I was doing uh, public relations during that time, mm -hmm. sabi ko, may mga tao that deserve to be exposed. Uh, and you were one of them. Nasabi ko, what can I do for this young boy? Wow. Uh, para lamang klaro, I was a recipient of the kindness also of friends and strangers. Uh... I was a recipient of the kindness, the goodness of many people na nakapaligid din sa buhay mo, RS. Yes. So, to continue that cycle, yes. kailangan hindi natin hinihinto. Mm -mm. To continue that cycle, you must uh, continue to do acts of kindness and goodness. I'm not saying we're perfect. We're far from being perfect. For us to continue making this world a better place. Yeah. Uh, sa mga nanonood ngayon, of course, uh, sanay po tayo nakikita natin si Boy Abunda na go host Siya parati nagtatanong. So, hindi natin nalalaman masyado kung ano yung mga pinagdaanan din niya, paano siya naging isang premier king of talk, Boy Abunda. Um, you said, Tito Boy, na you, the, the help of others, the kindness of others, the, the assistance of others. Ano nangyari doon, Tito Boy? Can you, can you give me one, one, one wow. situation? Ako yung lumaki po sa isang maliit na bayan, uh, Borongan Eastern Summer. I'm proud of my small town. It's now a city. Parating sinasabi ko, I, I come from very humble beginnings. Yeah. 
Pumunta po ako dito sa Maynila dahil nangarap ang aking mga magulang at tinuruan nila akong mangarap. My father and my mother. Pumanaw ang aking ama and I roamed the streets of Manila until I found my way to the theater. Doon ko na nakilala ang ilang mga life friends na for no reason at all. For no reason at all. Naalala ko pa and uh, recent lang ito eh. Sana hindi ka magsawa, Ricky. Si Ricky Dalu ng University of the Philippines. Dula ang UP. Yeah. I went, no, no, repertory. Uh, UP repertory. UP rap. I was auditioning for Batibot of Ben Cervantes. And I wanted to be an actor because it was the easiest way to get into the theater. I wanted to be part of the crowd. Dahil alam ko naman ang aking limitasyon. So taong bayan. Taong bayan. Isang taong koro. I was auditioning for the koro, for the koros. So, noon, pag nag-audition ka, sumasayaw ka, kumakanta ka, binibigyan ka ng papel para umarte. Okay. So, the night before my audition for Batiba, this is not a story I often tell. Uh, the night before uh, the auditions, ako ay nag-aral ng Dahil Sayo, Dahil Sayo. Nice ko, mabubuhay. Oh, yeah, okay. Simple song. Kahi, kasi, alam kong ako ay pakakantahin po. Alam kong ako ay, uh, they would ask me to sing. So, yung mga steps, uh, nag-aral din ako. sa <laughs> ano kaya pasasayaw nila sa akin. It starred Haji Alejandro, mm -hmm. yeah. who was a big star yeah. and good singer. Who is one of the best singers we have. So, when the audition, si Ricky Dalo, the audition master. I don't remember if Ben Cervantes was there. So, nandun si Ricky, and uh, next, Boy Abunda, to my, <laughs> what's your name? My name is Boy Abunda with pride, diba? Um, Can you sing? Yes, sing. So, <laughs> you know, dahil sa yo, blah 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 blah. Sabi sa Ricky. Thank you. Kano ka gal? Sabi ko. Ah, excuse me. Inaral ko ito buong gabi. Pwede hubang patapusin ako. Man lang, man lang. Because that's what got him that. They made me dance, and you know, they made me read some lines. I got into the chorus. I think you got the role. Yeah, you got that. No, I mean you got that. Yeah, as a chorus. Pero hindi nagtatapos don. Dahil RS. Um, chorus. You know, chorus. Ah. And um, ang nangyari, tuwing may eksena na halimbawa wala dun sa script, no? uh, mabuhay sa Batibot, I'd go to Ben. And I would say, Ben, uh, direct, ako na lang ang sisigaw. You know why? What? Because pag nangungumbida ako ng mga tao na manood ng Batibot, sinasabi ko, pag narinig nyo na yung mabuhay sa Batibot, ako yun. Ah, para meron kang moment. <laughs> yung moment. So, Ben would say, oo na, sige. So, pag ay, mabuhay sa Batibot, etc. Malit na bagay, pero pag nililingon ko, sabi ko, ang bait-bait din ng mga tao. You know, um, I was a beneficiary of the kindness of many people, from Ricky, from Ben, from Tony, from That's many. Right. That's uh, right. Uh, actually, ako din, uh, love for theater din ang upisa sa akin. That's a commonality that we have. Yes, that's one thing we share. Mm -hmm. Speaking of love, syempre, uh, I'm sure everybody would want to know about love, how I find love, how, how Tito Boy defines love, how I describe love, how I feel love, how Tito Boy <laughs> handles love, but everything about love. Um, I want to know, Tito Boy, uh, first and foremost, uh, what is your definition of love? It's very, napakalalim niya, napag dinan mo sa Google, what is love, ang daming lalabas. Pero as Boy Abunda, how, what is love for Boy Abunda? It's the one thing that I don't know. It's the one thing that I cannot explain. Mm. It's the one thing that I cannot define. Pero may papaliwanag ko. Mm -hmm. uh, sabi mo nga sa Google, sa diksyonaryo, sinasabi na it's something that's intense. Yes. It's an emotional, it's a, an emotional experience Condition, that's intense. Yeah. Uh, it's an affection. Love is the epicenter of my life right now. Oh, that's good. It is the epicenter. That's good. It is the center of my life right yeah, now. And that's good. If you make that the, the epicenter or the, yeah, dunagaan niyong life mo, it's, you know, you, yeah. you know that you're in a good place. You have to bring yourself yeah. to a good place. Yeah. You have to be in that good place. I don't think I would have survived the death of my nanay yes. had it not been for love. Yeah, we, yeah, we felt and bad for you. you. And yeah. thank you for all the love. Yeah. Grabe. Eh, uh, sa akin naman, uh, my love for, for front row, uh, my love, my unconditional love for my front row business partners all over the world, not just here in the Philippines. Parat na siya sabi, RS, you're single, you're single, single. Kakailangan mo magkap na partner. Sabi ko, ang dami ko ng partners sa front row. I have more than one million business partners, and with that, with the love that they show me, us, front row, you, and everyone else in front row, for me, that's enough. Okay. 
And that's a good thing about love because ang dami, no? Yeah. Uh, pagmamahal sa pamilya, pagmamahal sa partner, pagmamahal sa so, trabaho, so, oh, yes. love uh, of country, love... Uh, pagmamahal sa sarili. Which is, uh, I think, one of the most important. Uh, pagmamahal sa Diyos. Yeah. Napakarami pong uh, aspeto ng pagmamahal. Ito po ang isa sa mga bagay na tunay na hinahangaan ko about front row. You know, I'm, a f I'm, uh, I'm familiar with front row cares. I'm familiar with uh, some of the charitable initiatives that you do on front row. Why, ako naman ang magtatanong, RS, um, why do you do these charitable initiatives dito sa front row? Well, kasi Tito Boy, like you, galing din ako sa humble beginnings. Uh, okay. Siguro yung tatay ko, nag abogado na sa Pagita, nag artista dati, pero nung nag retire po siya, doon ko po na-realize na bumababa na yung mga finances namin. I met your tatay. So yes, lovely, yeah, lovely yeah. Yes. Uh, nung nag-retire siya, doon ko na-realize na, o oh, nga pala, kailangan magtipid na tayo, kailangan magtipid. So, doon ko naramdaman ang financial crisis ng pamilya namin. Ngayon, at that time, parati akong dasal-dasal, sana may tumulong, sana may tumulong sa amin, sana may tumulong sa amin sa mga ano. Pero walang tumulong. Kaya sabi ko sa sarili ko, kung walang tutulong sa amin, kailangan kong tulungan sa sarili ko. So, now that we've been blessed in front row, ayoko na po maramdaman ng mga ibang kasama ko sa front row. Yung pinagdaanan. Yung aking pinagdaanan. No, ba bago natin ipagpatuloy yung discussion natin about uh, the charitable uh, deeds that you continue to do yes. here on front row. Para lamang klaro din ang commonality namin ni RS. Mahirap na pamilya ang pinanggalingan ko. Pero naging mas mahirap nung ako'y dumating dito sa Maynila. Natulog po ako sa Luneta dahil wala ako akong matuluyan. Huh? Na I, I slept in the benches of Luneta Park. It was a sanction Seryoso? for me. Seryoso? Um, nagkasakit po ako, nakitira po ako sa isang bahay sa Mabini. Uh, kapit kwarto ko po, I was staying in a, in a bed na ang, ang takip lamang po ay, ang tawag namin sa waray, mantel. Yung ipang pang mantel. cover ng mantel. Yeah, mantel yeah, po. Yeah, Yan lamang po ang cover. At ang aking mga kapitbahay were the prostitutes and, uh, and the, the, the women of the night na yeah. nagtatabaho nun yeah. sa, sa Mabini. And I discovered during that time that they were the kindest people in the world. Nagkasakit ako. Pinakakain nila ako, RS, lugaw, kung ano man may pagkain sila, binibigyan nila ako. Last na lamang, parang, para klaro lang uh, sa ating mga kasamahan, my father died inside a taxi cab in the arms of his mother, my grandmother on the way to San Juan de Dios. Because? Uh, because uh, we couldn't afford hospitalization. We couldn't afford hospital care. No, he died of? But he the... died of heart attack. Heart attack. Nung sila ipapunta po sa ospital. At ang hindi ko makakalimutan na karanasan ay hindi namin mailabas ang tatay namin dead on arrival sa ospital dahil wala kaming pambayad. People ask me why I worked so hard. I worked so hard because of many reasons. And one of the most important reasons was Ayokong pagdaanan ng nanay ko, ang pinagdaanan ng tatay. Exactly. Pagdating ng panahon, sabi ko, I should be able to afford the best health care for my yes. mother. Yun po ang aking pinanggalingan. And that is something that's common because uh, yung hardships, yung challenges, yung uh, pinagdaanan natin, somehow connect people. They connect us in many ways. I understand why you are kind. I understand why you're very giving without expecting anything in return. Because you were there. Yeah. But hearing the stories from, from you, Tito Boy, na ganyan, it's rare that it, people would hear uh, your story na natulog ka pala sa Luneta. I, I didn't know that. All, all, ang sa akin lang was you were a publicist na tumutulong sa amin. Yun lang yung, yung pag-alam ko and onwards until you became the, the TV sensation, the host and all that. And kung ako talk. But thank, thank you. you. For, for letting me know yung pinanggalingan mo. And now, you know, more or less, nakaka-relate na ako talaga. Kaya sobrang lalim ng paghanga ko. For example, when you were dealing with Kat, with Kat I, I had a chance to work with Kat Chiona, Gray, Ms. Universe. Um, pagkapanalo niya, you did some projects with her in Tondo, for example. Yes. Uh, she's very passionate about yes. her work in Tondo. And I was so glad that front row saw it. That it was not just about beauty, it was not just about the gloss, yeah. but it was about the story of Catriona yeah. wanting to be part of that life, yeah. changing lives, touching people. 
kahit KEP yan, worth back. Ito, ito yung mga bagay na nagko-connect din sa atin because, you know, when Pia also won, uh, and we all knew that she was very active with Love Yourself. Yes. yes. Tell me that story. You also got involved with Love Yourself. Yeah, we pledged our, our support for Love Yourself. Of course, I have friends who are, who are I have lots of friends who are gay, diba? and I'm be, me being gay myself, tapos I have friends who, you know, have to be aware of the, the HIV and, the, you know, how, how to prevent it, and if ever meron sila, how they can uh, keep it at bay. I love the idea of how you synergize with friends. Dahil si Catriona, kaibigan ko, because I'm a host, I was part of, you know, her community of supporters yes. who helped her the best way we could. Pia, I spent even more time training her on her Q1 day. Uh, Aside from that, you also have a, a synergy with Miss Universe. Yes. You have a scholarship thing. Yes, because uh, there's also Hope for Change. The Miss Universe organization has a na Hope for Change and mga bata sa tondo na pinapaaral. So, we namin kay Miss Paula Sugart na yung Dito, sa Philippines, yung Hope for Change dito sa Philippines, kami na ang mag-aasikaso niyan. Huwag mo na masyadong isipin. Two kami very powerful words, no? Hope and, and change. change. And not only that, because I was involved in M. Butterfly and uh, 21 performances and seven art pieces. Different organizations. Yes, which ranged from elderly care to animal welfare to education to... As in random, Tito Boy. As in, uh, I want to give lang a, a background kung bakit. Kasi marami nagsabi, RS, ikaw lang kilala kong producer na nag-mount ng isang play at that time, malaking play. Uh, me, medyo malaki yung expense mo dyan. Tapos, hindi mo ginawa para kumita. Sabi ko, hindi. Ginawa ko siya para kumita. Pero lahat ng kinita ko, binigay ko sa charity. Oh, Uh, since we're talking about love and all that, yeah, so me. Wow. Imagine. I met my partner of over 30 years. 30 years. Imagine how strong and... We met in the theater. Uh, nasa isang bahay lang kami ni Sam. Talaga, that story I didn't Yan, know. Hindi namin masyadong kinikwento. So, Only... Did you live together? Were you well, in love with each other? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know.